I or should you use meal replacements as part of a comprehensive weight loss program? And I think the simple answer is absolutely yes. The unfortunate part about meal replacements is over the last several years, meal replacements aren't what we'll call sexy. Uh, what is sexy? Keto, uh, intermittent fasting, um, vegan. Well, all those, those are sexy diets. They have not always stood the test of time and there's still a lot of questions about those diets and how they work long term as far as weight loss. Even going back to the 1970s when liquid dieting got its start, it's come a long way. Back in the 70s, liquid dieting, so uh, protein-based bars, shakes, and soups were not the right thing to do when they first came out, but that was in the early 1970s. Science and technology has come a long way since then. What meal replacements have now been shown to do, both in the short term, with, whether that be three months, six months, a year, and the long term in studies lasting up to eight to 10 years, is that they help people structure their plan to lose more weight in the short term and often keep off more weight in the long term. Meal replacements are really doing five things for us. They're helping us have a little more protein than the standard American diet a little less carbohydrate. They have a few fats in them that we don't otherwise have uh, in our body, basically that are what we call essential fatty acids. There's two of them and they're long chain. And these come standard in what we'll call medical meal replacements. The third is they have a standard portion. The fourth is what we'll call portion. So they have a standard portion. It is usually one package um, whether that's one serving of soup, a bar, or a shake. And the fifth one is vitamins. They have enough micronutrients to keep us healthy for a long period of time. What I say is you can take your meal replacements and you can take a jug of water and go to the International Space Station and live for a year very healthy, unless you just are losing too much weight and would have to add some calories back. Throughout the years, meal replacements started out most likely as something was used in people who uh, weren't able to eat food for uh, some kind of digestive or stomach problems where they had part of their intestines removed and there it had to be supported for long periods of time um, through either a g-tube directly into their stomach or through a nasal gastric tube to feed them well when it wasn't just short term anymore and long term we had to figure out as a medical community what were the essential nutrients that we needed to sustain people's health for long periods of time. And they took that technology and just cut back calories and came out with what we now know as medical meal replacements. Medical meal replacements are not the same ones you can get in the grocery store, GNC, or Costco. Uh, they are very specifically formulated to be potentially all the food you're going to eat besides some liquid like water. They can sustain you for as little as one to three weeks and starting it and then adding some food back in or if you desire for as many as six to nine months or longer. Now do you have to do it that way? Not exactly. We have many different patterns uh, of the way people use meal replacements in our practice. Uh, many people do kind of get a jump start and so they go on a jump start plan which includes often uh, a full meal replacement for a couple of weeks and that again is completely up to you and your desires. If it is working and you feel good doing it and you're losing a lot of weight, why not keep continue doing it? It gives you what we'll call a break from food. It's kind of a vacation from having to wake up and decide what you're going to have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. You don't have to cook. You don't have to do anything fancy. The other is it's fast. So many people now in the pandemic are working from home. They're sitting at their desk for hours at a day. Many people say, I don't even have time to get up to go to the kitchen or don't feel like getting up and going to the kitchen and making something healthy for lunch. So you know you can either uh, prepare, which sometimes is just blending in a blender with some ice, sometimes adding water, sometimes just pulling from the fridge, sometimes just open. You can have a fully nutritious, completely sustaining meal and then go right back to work. So meal replacements make 
weight loss faster, they make it last longer, they make it easier. And if you've, you've chosen the right ones, and I believe we have chosen the right ones, also taste quite good. That is just a little bit about meal replacements. Hopefully you learned something today. If you have a moment, please subscribe to my channels uh, here on the side of your screen, and then you'll get automatic notifications when a new video is posted.